We're up on the navigation bridge and I'm standing in front of the helm here, which is where we steer the ship. So this is the helm here. It has this faint line here where you, you can give uh, rudder commands. So right now this is midship. If we turn it over, that would be starboard 10. That would be port 10. The reason it's beeping at us right now is because we're on autopilot. So it's beeping at you to tell you, hey, you need to switch over to hand steering. Uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna do anything. Um, so here's the different modes here. We got autopilot one, autopilot two, which is what we're currently using, wheel or hand steering, call up and NFU, which is non follow up. So here's autopilot two. This is the heading that we have set for it to steer. This is uh, what the actual heading is, the gyro heading. So we're steering right now 300.1. Um, a couple other modes we have, the radius, this is uh, correlates to the rate of turn. So if we have a tighter, a smaller radius in the turning circle, you can see the rate of turn increases. If, if we're going uh, fast enough, you don't wanna have a high rate of turn, otherwise the ship uh, will uh, heel over and move a little bit too aggressively in the turn. So try to keep it around like five degrees is, is pretty good. Here's uh, autopilot one, which we cover up just to make sure you're not trying to hit the wrong switch here. You, you see here, it'll beep at you as well, unless we switch it over to autopilot one. We have two autopilots just for redundancy in case one fails. And uh, every day we switch the um, autopilot units just to keep the, the number of hours on them uh, as even as possible. This right here is a gyro compass. It's an analog version of this reading right here. So we're steering 300.1. This is the non-follow-up tiller. Uh, when you move this, it'll move the rudder until you let go and then it'll stay at whatever you left it at. I'll show you an example of how that works here in a, in a moment. Call up allows us to take control from the bridge wings. Both the port and starboard bridge wing have what we nickname the barbecue. So when the captain and the pilot are coming in to dock the ship, they can stand out here on the bridge wings. And they have a lot of the controls here themselves. So when we're in call-up mode, it allows the ship to steer using this right here. We can also send the throttle over here in call-up mode. Uh, we can send the stern thruster and the bow thruster out here as well. And this panel looks identical on the starboard side. Okay, so we're going to steer back to our next waypoint, which is 293. And we'll do that in hand steering to demonstrate how we do steering by hand and with non-follow-up. All right, so let's go to hand steering. Yeah. And he's on 300, so we'll go to uh, 293. 293. So he's turning the wheel to port, looks to port 10 there. Our rudder angle indicator shows what he's doing there. We also get some other information that's useful. Rate of turn, so he's turning at a rate of turn of about eight degrees a minute to port. And then when he gets closer to 293, he's gonna have to apply counter rudder to slow the swing of the ship. So there's the counter rudder. The rate of turn is slowly decreasing from to about zero degrees there. So now he's steady on just about 293 there. All right, now we're gonna show non-follow-up. Um, so let's switch to NFU. NFU, rudders and midships, NFU. So he's gonna move that tiller, left 10. Left 10. So he's gotta hold that tiller and then release it once he gets it on the angle he wants. Let's go right 10. Right 10. Okay, so now that he's got it steady on 293, we can go back on the mic, autopilot two. 
and now the autopilot's taking over and steering us on 293. There are two steering gears. We have a uh, number one steering gear and number two steering gear. These will alternate every day. Even days we try to run the number two pump and odd days we run the number one pump. So you can see uh, today's the 16th, that's an even day. So we have the number two pump running. Whenever we're coming in and out of port, we always have the number one pump on though, because that's attached to the emergency bus. So if we lost power, the emergency diesel generator would turn on and it would still give us power to our steering. So these steering pumps, they're hydraulic pumps that move a uh, steering rack that's connected to the rudder. And we'll go back to the steering gear and look at these two pumps and the uh, steering gear system in itself.